pleasant afternoon to all. <coughs> the COVID-19 pandemic has resulted in the formulation and ongoing execution of a number of plans to reopen the early childhood sector. One of these plans involved the sensitization of all workers in early childhood in St. Kitts and Nevis to COVID-19 health and hygiene guidelines for child care settings. In an effort to ensure the health and safety of children and staff in the early childhood centers, the Early Childhood Development Unit, in collaboration with the Ministry of Education and the National COVID-19 Task Force, developed a set of regulations for the safe operation of early childhood centers in St. Kitts and Nevis. Over the past two weeks, assessments have been conducted on a number of public and private early childhood centers. I am happy to report that five private centers have been assessed and granted approval for reopening. A number of private centers have been scheduled to be assessed next week. Additionally, 14 of 15 public early childhood centers gained approval and will be in operation from Monday 10th August 2020. The Old World Daycare Center is undergoing maintenance presently and we hope that this facility can be approved and reopened shortly. At each approved center, a certificate of approval will be posted in a conspicuous place at the entrance of this facility. Assessments for the reopening of all public and private centers in Nevis will commence shortly. However, all centers in Nevis are expected to be in operation by September 7th. Now that some centers have been approved for reopening, we expect all early childhood staff, parents, and guardians to adopt and follow special operational procedures at the early childhood facilities. We will now look at the arrival, screening, and departure procedures for early childhood facilities. Guidelines for entering an early childhood facility. One, identify and use any one of the approved entry points to the center. Two, on entering the compound, look for posted signs which would provide instructions as to how to proceed. The regulations will require a person entering the premises to A, queue up at the marked screening area by standing on the visible markers. B, wear face mask while on the compound. And C, sanitize hands. Screening area procedure. At each center, parents will encounter a screening area where two staff members will be stationed. One, a staff member will perform temperature checks on all staff and children only, while the other staff member will be assigned to usher in the children. Please note, no temperature checks will be taken for parents. Two, a child or staff member who has a temperature that is equal to or greater than 100.4 100, 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius will not be allowed to enter the building. A second temperature reading will be taken half hour after the first reading to confirm whether there is a sustained elevated temperature. If the second temperature reading is acceptable, then the staff member or child will be allowed entry. Three, all temperatures and any related respiratory symptoms will be recorded in a logbook daily. This book is important and will be used for contact tracing if necessary. Four, parents of children in nursery one are asked to have an extra blanket for the worker who is taking the baby from the parent. This staff member will be properly attired in an apron and a blanket over their shoulder, which provides a barrier or protection between the worker and the children. 
Additionally, this worker must be sanitized before taking each baby. Five, in the regular register provided, parents or responsible adults must sign, must sign in their children. Guidelines for departure. One, a responsible adult is required to take a child from the center. Two, the child must be signed out in the register provided. Restrictions. One, a child or staff member who is sent home because of suspicious signs or symptoms of COVID-19 cannot return to the center unless a certificate from the doctor or community health nurse indicates the person is well enough to re-enter the school's population. Two, only a responsible adult can bring children to and take children from the center. Children will not be allowed to drop off or take children from the center. Three, parents are no longer allowed inside the centers. They can only enter the compound to drop off or pick up their children. Four, impromptu meetings at centers between teachers or supervisor and parents will not be permitted. All meetings must be conducted electronically or by strict appointments. Five, an on-duty traffic warden must not, must not take children from any means of transportation and bring them to the center. Six, children must not be dropped off from buses unattended. They must be accompanied by a responsible adult to the center. Seven, any visibly sick or ill staff member or child will not be allowed entry into the center. Eight, all staff must wear a face mask upon entry and while inside the center. Nine, children will not wear a face mask at any time. 10, under supervision, children's hands will be washed with soap and water, rinsed properly, then dried completely. Children will not use hand sanitizers because of the alcohol content, which can irritate their mouth and skin. In conclusion, the information presented today will be repackaged in other forms and provided to the public. A video and flyers will be disseminated shortly to provide details on the procedures outlined in this presentation. The regulations enforced for reopening early childhood centers are there to protect and limit the spread of COVID-19 and any other communicable diseases. We encourage everyone to be very understanding of the new normal we are now facing. As such, we are all obligated to make personal changes as we become more respectful and caring community members. Thank you for your attention.